Hi there Libra, so I'm gonna be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. This is a general love reading for Libra, a you versus them general love reading. Okay, if the reading doesn't resonate, please do not try to make it fit your story. Libra, 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 okay. Can I get a card for Libra's person, please? Libra's person, Libra's person. Strength in reverse. And a card for Libra. The Ace of Pentacles, awesome. Okay, can I get a card for Libra's person? The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Cups for you, okay. Wheel of Fortune for your person. The Nine of Wands in reverse for you. The Shared Mutual Feelings. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Wow, the World in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. So right off the bat, your person got Strength in reverse with the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like your person is not financially stable with the king of pentacles in reverse or they're just not in a stable position um and so that's why strength in reverse is showing up with the king of pentacles in reverse they're hoping with time things will take a turn for the positive so this could be talking about a poor timing issue um you however have the ace of pentacles so you're uh there is a brand new opportunity in store for you okay so regardless if your person has stability it just seems like you have a lot more opportunities in store for you here with the ace of pentacles and you could be in search of that okay with the eight of cups so it's like you're walking away from possibly this connection in search of your two other cups possibly looking for new opportunities here okay and you're not really resistant to experiencing something new with the nine of wands in reverse so that's a great energy um for the shared mutual feelings i see the ace of swords in reverse so there's possibly no communication between the two of you okay However, I feel like even as um, the both of you are separated, okay, it seems like there is a separation. With the World card in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse, I really feel like um, emotions will still be there, okay, with the Queen of Cups in reverse and the World in reverse. Like... Even as you're moving forward in search of your two other cups, you'll still carry some feeling towards this person, okay? It's possibly you or even the both of you here, okay? So let's clarify. Let's clarify the strength in reverse. Once I clarify these cards, I'll get a better understanding of what's actually going on here. But it just seems like... like caring feelings even if moving forward okay so let's clarify strength and reverse for your person's energy strength and reverse again I see strength clarifying strength and reverse strength and reverse yeah, there we go. The lovers in reverse. Seems like there is a disconnect here. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Oh, wow. Look at that. The four of wands in reverse. So this is someone that's not able to offer you stability. Um, and they're, they're not feeling stable with the four of wands in reverse. So I see Leo, Gemini, fire, earth. Okay. So this could have been a marriage doesn't necessarily have to be but you know the four of wands talks about stability as well right the two pillars on each side so this person does not have the means to offer you stability right now and it seems like it could be a timing issue let's clarify the ace of pentacles yeah so you are probably um wanting to look for new opportunities elsewhere possibly collaborations looking for possibly new friendship so there's like something that you 
would be working with others here, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles here. And you seem to be open about it. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, like the, the both of you are not together. I, I see someone, you being as a very passionate person, right? With the Queen of Wands in reverse. But uh, I feel like this person didn't bring in stability for you. That's why the Queen of Wands is showing up in reverse here. They're hoping that they can offer you stability, maybe in the future. But this clearly seems like it's a timing issue. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups on your side. Yeah, so it's like you're not really... Oh, wow, the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So eight could be a significant number for you. But it's like you're... Um, it seems like you're taking swift action, okay? Towards searching for your two missing cups here. To experience wish fulfillment for yourself. To feel far more complete, okay? With the... Like... That's what it seems like. You're taking swift action here with the Eight of Wands. It's like you're not settling. That's interesting. You're not settling here. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, look at that. So they're fully aware that you deserve a lot more here. Um, they see you as this empress, okay? Someone that's very loving, very nurturing, okay? Um, and they're, they're really aware, okay? There's an awareness on their part that they can't offer you what you deserve. Stability, a foundation here. Possibly lacking the courage. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse. They could see things working out for you, though, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress as well. There you go, the Knight of Cups in reverse. You could be leaving the window open for them to, or the door open for them to uh, offer you their cup, while at the same time moving forward here. Um, with the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Or you could have done that, right? Left the door open if they wanted to come in with their cup. You know, you would be somewhat open here. But nonetheless, I see you moving forward. And not really waiting on this person here. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse for the shared mutual feelings. So the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so I really feel like... Wow, look at that seven and seven. Okay, so this there seems to be some repetition here. So I see someone walking away, okay, from conflict or any sort of resistance here. Like just walking away, not wanting to, but knowing that they have to. Um, this could be your energy. They could have walked away even though they may not have wanted to, okay, with the Seven of Wands. Uh, let's clarify the World card in reverse, so the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So I see this, um, so this is interesting. I see you as moving forward but carrying your feelings for this person with you, like, but knowing that you have to move forward. Because there doesn't seem like there is a brand new opportunity with this person, um, because I feel like they can't offer you stability here. They could see good things happening for you, okay? Or that you're very fortunate, okay? But it's like they see you as this emperor, someone that's very loving, very nurturing, standing in your power here. Interesting. It's 
it's like someone didn't want to walk away though with the seven of wands with the seven of swords but it's like they had to so they could have been fending off their desires to stay but anyway let's clarify the lovers in reverse the four of wands in reverse the knight of pentacles in reverse yep not offering you any sort of commitment very like stagnant energy here let's clarify the ace of pentacles with the three of pentacles on your side ten of swords so this is talking about yeah it just seems like regardless if this has caused you pain okay with the ten of swords um this disconnect it's nearing completion and it's taught it, it could be also referring to an ending here it's like you're you're still willing to collaborate with others um embark on new friendships here and to just you know grab any sort of new opportunities heading your way even if you do carry the pain of this disconnect okay with the ten of swords but it's nearing completion let's clarify the king of pentacles in reverse with the queen of wands in reverse temperance look at that they got the three of pentacles as well I feel like they're hoping with due time with temperance and the three of pentacles somehow the both of you could work things out here um once they have achieved stability and they could provide you with a foundation seems like a very specific message of someone that does not have a stable foundation okay and but hoping for things to somehow work out in the future where they would have more financial stability and somehow the both of you could work things out here interesting let's clarify the eight of cups with the eight of wands three of cups in reverse so like you're just moving forward regardless if there's any sort of reconciliation here even if it hurts you i see it as being like you're going to carry your feelings as you move forward okay so i really feel like this could be like the both of you holding on like not being able to let go of your feelings for each other wheel of fortune with the empress let's clarify the wheel of fortune with the empress just you see what i'm saying justice it seems like your person may or is hoping for for, for future for the future that things will somehow be made right here okay with justice that's your card there as well um they could see you doing what's right by you as well or that you are far more balanced than they are as it just seems like that but with the temperance and three of pentacles hoping that maybe in the future you guys will be able to work things out but at the same time, seeing you being a lot more balanced than they are and doing what's right by you. Seeing you as being far more fortunate than they are as well. That's interesting. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Well, look at that Eight of Wands. So it's like you're leaving a window open if in case they want to communicate. Window, door like just leaving in case they want to communicate okay or they want to offer you their cup while at the same time you know experiencing new friendships new opportunities okay it just seems like a specific message here that the emperor in reverse yeah it's like someone that was not feeling stable okay or in their power so where you're showing up as the emperor the empress and the upright your person showing up as the emperor in reverse and the king of pentacles in reverse clearly i see someone that did not have um felt like they didn't have enough to offer you or they didn't have to off enough to offer you a stable foundation with the emperor in reverse um someone that was lacking courage you know not wanting to walk away but having no choice but to do so so fending off their desires here uh, let's clarify the world in reverse with the queen of cups in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse and the ace of pentacles and there you go, the ace of the empress in reverse. 
it just seems like stagnant energy C carrying whatever feelings you have as you move forward here because there's no brand new opportunity here and it doesn't offer you any security here with the empress card in reverse ace of pentacles in reverse two of pentacles in reverse let me get one more card there we go it's like it's talking about endings here so the ten of wands and the ten of swords but it, you know it's like whatever feelings you have towards this connection um so if there's any stress or heaviness or pain it's nearing completion and somehow you'll be able to get over it but you know possibly if you've had any fond memories or fond feelings towards this person you would be carrying it with you okay as you move forward and embark on these brand new opportunities here okay so that's my reading for you today libra i hope you got better insight into the situation that you have with your person and i'll see you next time take care